in this video I'm going to go over uh, working with fonts. I have videos in my playlist um, for the text document, the text menu, and the text tool, but I don't have them all in one place, in one video. So I thought I would put them together right quick and try to get through this as fast as possible. So I will go ahead and open a new page, and I'll zoom out here, and I'm going to just type a couple lines of text. Um, Starcraft, and then hit enter, and create. And then um, over here on my text document, um, you have, you know, all your fonts are listed here that are installed on your computer. You have your favorites, um, and once I choose one, if I hit this plus sign, if I go to favorites, then it will show up in this list, okay? And then I have this project. So if I go ahead and choose this font here and type out, um, let's see, I need to select this and click here and type out create. All right, so now I have this font. So then if I come to this project, I can see that I have these two fonts chosen, okay? So that is the view and the fonts. And then you have your bold, and you have your italic, and then you have a refresh and a load font. Now your load font is um, for loading a font temporarily to be used in this session of create. Once you close it out, then it's no longer available once you open it again because it's only loading it temporarily. Okay. And then you have your um, align center, align left, align right, and then um, standard sizing. Uh, you can increase it or decrease it. You have your width, which you can. Um, adjust okay and then your tracking is spreading the letters apart in equal increments or um, moving them closer together okay and leading is for the space in between lines so if I decrease that or I can increase that okay and then you have let's put that back at zero and then you have offset, which basically moves it, you know, up or down the page. Then you have rotate. You can increase or decrease, right? And then you have skew, which you can increase or decrease. So you can come up with some kind of cool different text effects using those. Okay, so that is the text document. And then you have text fonts here. You have size here. You have convert to outlines. Um, you also have that in the document panel, show outlines, okay. Uh, then let's come back here to, oops, I need to have this selected, to text. And then um, I can load a font file so it's going to take me to my um, Windows Explorer here, and um, I can choose a font that I want to load. And then you have your font preview. So uh, let me select this. I've actually changed something on there where it won't let me view it, so I'll choose the other font. Your font preview shows all of the fonts that are um, installed on your computer you can you know make this box larger you can make the text smaller uh, you can look at these and say okay I like this one and I like this one you can click on all of these I like this one and this one and then if you know if you're way down here on your page and you don't see which ones are selected click on display selection only and it shows you all the ones that you selected and then you can say, okay, I don't really like this one. I know I don't want this one. So 
This one's kind of italic. So I'm going to use this one and then just change the font. Okay. Now you can do that if you just select one font. So let's say I want to change it to this font. I know that's the font that I want, so I just change it. Okay. And then you have your um, text tool. All right. So if you click on it and you type out create, it's going to type it in the font that you have chosen. And uh, if you left click and hold this, it gives you some other text options. You have vertical type tool. So if I choose that and type in create, it goes vertical. Now you can still use your, um, your tracking and stuff for this. Let me go ahead and select that. And you can see that it's moving them closer together. Okay. Then you have um, type on a path tool. So if I click here, you can see I get an error. And that's because I don't have a path to, um, to uh, what's the word I'm looking for, to create the text on. So let me go ahead and I'll left click and hold and I'll grab a circle. And then I'll just draw it out in an oval shape like this. And then I'll come back to my text, type on a path, and click on that path. And then I will type out StarCraft. I'm going to go ahead and bump this back up to 100, although it didn't do anything. So I may need to select it and try to get all of it. Yeah. I should have adjusted that first. So anyway, all right, so I can see that it's not on top of my um, oval here. So if I come back to the text tool and click in front, I can hit the space bar to move that so that it's at the top, okay? So that's that. Let me go ahead and get rid of these. And then we have um, type on an arc. So I'll just click here and I'll type out create. And you can see that you have some settings up here. So if I go ahead and decrease this, you can see what it does. And then if I increase it, you can see what it does. You also have the inside and the outside. So if I do the outside, it curves downward, okay? If I do the inside, it curves, if I go down, it curves upward, all right? So, um, you know, you're gonna type out your letters and you're gonna space them using your tracking, you're gonna space them. I have them at 80 right now, so that's quite close. But anyway, that is how that tool works. Play around with it, okay? So. That is the uh, document text, the text menu options, and the text type tool options for working with text. Now, you know, you can use other effects on your text. You can use the distort, which I love. <laughs> it's easy and fast. So let me just go ahead and show you. So I'll select my text here and I'll come to the distort tool. And it gives me these, um, these little nodes that I can adjust. So I can just left click and drag that down and up. And then it gives me this, okay? I can select it and make this even bigger or move it, you know, just play around with it. So anyway, uh, you know, you can still apply effects to them. Now, for um, using, let me type out a word again, StarCraft. Um, let me bump this back up to 100. Let me actually delete that. Let me come back to my text tool, bump this up to 100. Select, uh, let's see. 
I need a script font. So we'll just do autumn and November and I'll type out Starcraft and I'm going to actually put that at 100 because it didn't do it. Okay, so now if I come to preview, I can see, let me zoom in here. <clears throat> if I can. My keyboard isn't working right today. It's funky. Okay. Now, if I go to preview, I can see if I cut this like this, it's going to cut into the letters. So what I need to do is either come to the style panel, select my text, and click on weld. Then if I go to preview, I can see that those cut lines are grayed out, meaning they're not going to cut. So I can do it temporarily. That way I can just undo it. And again, you'll see that your cut lines are going to cut into each letter. Or I can use the permanent weld, which is path union. And then you can see there's no gray there, meaning it's not temporary and it's not going to cut any letters that are overlapping. Uh, but if you were to go on and, you know, do 10 other things here, then uh, the only way to unweld this is to undo all the way back to where you welded it, okay? Which is gonna be one more, and then you have, you know, your overlapping back. So union, path union is permanent, style panel weld is temporary. And then one more option is your library. You have a fonts tab here. And if you have a font, let me click somewhere in here and then I'm gonna type the letter H and it will start at my H's here. And I'm gonna look for Hello Honey because I know that I have some glyphs to use with that font um, like these here so you would just you know click on that to get your um, little glyph here and I also have some for Samantha um, because I had that selected it changed but let me come down here where I have some stuff somewhere down here. Here we go. I have some flourishes and things. Um, so that's where you'll find all of your glyphs that come with your fonts if they do. Um, all of your fonts are listed here and um, again you have your favorites in this project. You can also search here like if I um, clicked on the the P there, then it starts at my P's. Um, so that's how the library works. It's pretty cool because it shows, you know, all of your glyphs that you have for your fonts. So I like that. So let me go ahead and delete that. So that's it. That is your um, text document panel, your text menu, your text tool, and the library. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or you can find me in the Facebook group. I have two of them in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.